39 is the number of awards I have won for outstanding achievement in the field of excellence. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just making up bullshit. <laughs> Check it out, yo! Hi! We got snow. Damn! So pretty. You can't even see that truck with that snow camo. What truck? <laughs> meat and potatoes? The meat and What are the those? Potatoes. Meat and uh, potatoes. Yeah. How this little video came about. Came about because all we do is read the Bible pretty much. Mm, actually, it came about in um, prayer this morning. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, at the end of my prayer, I felt like the spirit was like, uh, I have two books, um, the Bible, and I do this one. Two books every show day. off. <laughs> well, <laughs> So I felt like I was prompted to like pick up a book and I thought it was this one because usually every morning I'll um, read this right before, like at the end before we go on home school. Man, I wish God would prompt but more people to pick up a book. It was like, no, read up, pick up this one, <laughs> which I pick up this one too, but not usually in the morning. So, and then I was like Isaiah 52. So we went to Isaiah 52 and um, there's a couple of different things going on. So you on really got Isaiah led 52. to Isaiah 52? Yeah. That's nuts. And it's kind of like a mixture of the exile and a mixture of the second coming of Yeshua and also coming out of Babylon for the Israelites back in the day, but also us as uh, trying to be, you know, God's people now. So there's a lot. Oh, and I didn't even mention it preludes dun da da da. Yeshua, <laughs> the suffering servant and glory of the servant. So that's kind of how it ends. So there is like a ton in Isaiah 52. So I, uh, I, was, I read this to you and there was kind of a lot going on in the world today. And we found it so interesting how we were led um, this morning to this passage. So I just wanted to read it. Read it, read it, read it, read it. No one likes to... I don't know. know if anybody wants to hear you sing. Everybody wants to hear my Michael Jackson impression. Still, um, <laughs> I'm just going to read this and I'll just point out um, just a few things. So hopefully the Lord, he can guide me as I read through... Remember, we're not teaching here, we're just reading. Just want to read through uh, your word and... If anything comes out of my mouth, I just pray that it would be your words and not mine. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. Um, awake, awake, O Zion. Clothe yourselves with strength. Put on your garments of splendor. O Jerusalem, the holy city. The uncircumcised and defiled will not enter you again. Shake off your dust. Rise up. Sit enthroned, O Jerusalem. Free yourself from the chains of your neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For this is what Yahweh says. You were sold for nothing. And I think this is kind of the, um, the exile right here. You were sold for nothing. And without money, you will be redeemed. For this is what the sovereign Lord says. At first, my people went down to Egypt to live. Lately, Assyria has oppressed them. And now, what do I have here, declares Yahweh? For my people have been taken away for nothing. And those who rule them mock, declares Yahweh. And all day long, my name was constantly blasphemed. Therefore, my people will know my name. Therefore, in that day, they will know that it was I who foretold it. Yes, it is I. Now, I think this part kind of goes into um, bringing the good news and like the gospel. And do, 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 do. Um, I think it all then it goes into the second coming of Yeshua. It was really so brought in by my awesome is, sound effect. Um, so this is seven. This is going to be verses seven to, to ten. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, 
who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, you watch, your watchmen lift up their voices. I like that like line in particular, your watchmen lift up your voices. It's almost like the lens were like watching, waiting, you know, for the, yeah. for the Lord to come. You know what I mean? Together they shout for joy. <laughs> so yeah, obviously. When Yahweh returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes, burst into songs of joy together. You ruins of Jerusalem, for Yahweh has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. Yahweh will lay bare his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of God. So then 11 to 12 talks about, I think, coming out of Babylon, like both now and both back then. Come out of you know her, my I mean? people. Exactly. At, at the end of this reading, I'm, yeah. I have a little something to say. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> depart, depart. Go out from there. Touch no unclean thing. Come out from it and be pure. You who carry the vessels of Yahweh. But you will not leave in haste or go in flight. For Yahweh will go before you. The God of Israel will be your rear guard. So he's obviously our guard and our strength. And then it lastly ends with the suffering and glory of the servant, which obviously is Yeshua. See, my servant will act wisely. He will be raised and lifted up and highly exalted. Just as there were many who were appalled at him, his appearance was so disfigured beyond that of any man and his form marred beyond human likeness. So will he sprinkle many nations and kings will shut their mouths because of him. <laughs> shut your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> For what they were not told, they will see and what they have not heard they will understand. Thank you for some light. You but ruined the ambiance. Fine, I'll turn it off. Security. So obviously the end of that one was... Um, is, that the end of the, is that it? Yeah, so that's the end of Isaiah. I tried to break it down as we were reading the parts that I felt like the Spirit was speaking Okay, to so me. the part where you were all like the watchers and watching for Jesus coming? Yeah. So we... Oh, no! <laughs> we were... Oh, we were we were driving no, no, home no, no. in the mountains of Flagstaff, <laughs> and we were coming up the mountain, and it was f as foggy as a, a Hollywood horror movie. It was so foggy, and over the crest of the hill, well, well I'll take it. We're going up the hill, and all of a sudden, like the whole sky pretty much lit up blue, like a blue light, and she starts like jump, bouncing her seat, and yelling, "He's coming!" He's coming back, and she was like, and I'm, I'm looking at her, and I'm like, what? she's like flipping I'm out. I can't help it. Okay, it'll be a glorious day. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, or it could be the ambulance lights over the hill. <laughs> and of course, she was disappointed. We all I'm were. Adored. Let's be honest. I'm we all adored. we were just we were all disappointed. I'm really excited. But, but I wasn't um, floating, so that should have been a sign. God, I wish I had that on camera. Oh. I know. Awesome. I uh, sometimes I get dorkish about these things, but I mean, if there's anything you can dork about, he's coming. So um, yeah, I don't know. I just um, you know, I felt like the spirit wanted to go over this with me uh, today, and I just figured like there's a lot going on, and it's a lot going on in the world, and even today, a lot of things just happened, and. I think it's good for us to remember to keep proclaiming the good news, um, you know, the salvation of our God, to continue to stay strong in the events of the crap that's going down, because it's probably going to get harder, yeah. to continue to have our eyes peeled on the to prize. the sky, because we never know when Yeshua will come back, and we want to be ready for that, and to get the heck out of Babylon because that shit is going down. It's just like one of those things that's just like come out because it's like a sinking, what is it, a sinking time? 
Is it sinking time bomb or something? Yes, what it's a sinking time bomb. Yes, exactly. Sinking ship, ticking time bomb? Yeah. So, um, yeah, those are kind of like the four like points of uh, just doing that, you know? Fabulous. Just to remind everybody. Anything that you wanted to... Oh, in that. <laughs> How could we forget that, you know, Yeshua is our suffering servant, right? He mm -hmm. freaking laid down his life for us, so... You know, we must lay down our lives for him. And as shitty sometimes it is, because, you know, sometimes you got to sacrifice things that are, like, uncomfortable. Right? Americans and their uncomfortable. Right, because we're so, like, we're so spoiled. We're soft as fuck. And you're just like, no, no, you got to take away uh, my comfort. I need five yes. Starbucks within two miles. Right. Or but sometimes he makes you do uncomfortable things because they're for the benefit of you at the end. Not you mean, because you mean uncomfortable to relative to an American? Exactly. So let's just do that for him because he does everything for us. I agree. Are you done with your... Um... I'm done with my spiel for the day. Okay. Well then. Suppose I shall end the video. Sounds good. Hope everybody has a good Sunday. Yeah, that's right. The first day of the week. Yay. Peace out.